Hello and welcome to my video about some basic chart patterns. Before I begin, I just want to let you know the following disclaimer. None of my opinion should be taken as advice to buy or sell any currency or other financial instruments. So this is a speeded up example of a trade. Uh, it was in my demo account for the currency pair Euro Pound. Uh, I've had an entry point just over 9040, which I thought would, was going to be a good support line. However, it didn't turn out to be. The market went against me. And now I'm looking at my stop loss, the red line at the bottom, and wondering whether my stop's going to be triggered or if there's a chance that this trade could still get back into profit. I've identified on the chart a falling wedge pattern. Now a falling wedge is a bullish reversal pattern. It's always bullish in this case because the market's falling it would be a reversal and as the price gets squeezed between the buyers coming in and the sellers uh, weakening the price has got to come out the top which you can see it has. It's just come out the top quite a strong break out of the top of the construction there and at the moment it's looking good for my trade it's looking like it's a good chance that I'm gonna get back into profit and the you know the bottom line is held and the market's gonna start trending upwards again looks good anything that's worrying me is it's not really broken out on high volume. If you look at the volume bars at the bottom, there's nothing really convincing about that move upwards. So, is this actually a falling wage pattern? Is that a true pattern? Or could something else actually be going on? Uh, I thought it'd be good to show you this thing sort of live would speed it up but just to show you what it's like to be in the market and see it moving around wondering whether your trade's gonna go your way or not and then when it hasn't gone your way of course there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of psychology wondering whether you're actually gonna come out of this trade early or whether you're gonna sit tight and try and see it through at this moment what would you be thinking would you be thinking Shall I try and get out now with a small loss or shall I keep keep the trade going and wait to see if I get a bounce or if or if um, I actually get back into profit. What I've just drawn on the chart now is showing that if this isn't a wedge maybe we've actually got a, a channel formed here. Now this is an important difference between whether this was a wedge or a channel because if it's a wedge it was going to come out the top which it did but if this channel is actually in control of the price action here then eventually the con it's going to be a continuation pattern so because the price is dropping when this channel structure completes it'll actually drop out the bottom of the channel so <clears throat> if that happens then I'm definitely going to see my stop get triggered. It just shows that when you're drawing patterns on on the chart, you need to have a good look at which pattern is in charge of the of the price action. If you're um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like this video. Put me some comments at the bottom. This is the first video I've made, so be kind and. I will start putting more videos on a regular basis, so please subscribe to my channel. To my uh, channel, as you can see now, we, it really is a channel that's that's in control of this price action. The original wedge is now largely irrelevant, and at some point, this is going to go below my stop. It's only really a matter of time now. 
Um, if if I had spotted this channel and decided that you know that's the way that the price was going, then at some point now I might choose to take a smaller loss on the trade. Probably around about now, this is probably going to be my best chance to get out of this trade with a small loss. And that was probably it. As you can see, it's the, the price is really looking heavy now. It looks like it wants to go down. The sellers are getting more in control of the price action. There's not enough buying to push this price up. And it's only really a matter of time now before this goes out the bottom. One thing I wanted to point out with trading is things don't move in a straight line. The price is always jumping around. It's really important to, to bear in mind when you're setting stop losses that you know you could you could have predicted the right direction of the that the market was going in, but if you put your stop too tight, it could just be triggered. Even though, just from a little fluctuation in the market, it could just take you out. You find that you're not in the trade anymore, and you missed out on it moving the way you wanted it to. I've now removed the original wedge pattern, and we'll keep watching this play out now because at some point this is it's going to break through the channel and the way it's going to break out has to be to the downside now it's actually struggling to even make the top of the channel the, uh, the, the sellers are definitely starting to take over the market price action is definitely moving down And the more you learn about chart patterns, the uh, easier you'll find to spot the patterns that are occurring on the chart. A lot of the time it can look like a really random series of movements up and down. But you can start to put some parameters around it, you can start to understand why the price action is going the way it does. And a lot of this is about psychology too, so you need a good strategy. You shouldn't trade the market unless you know what your strategy is because as soon as you're in a trade that's when the emotions are really going to take hold and if you don't come into a trade with a good strategy you're not going to know when to get out of the trade or when to let the trade carry on going there we go my stop loss has been triggered don't think the price has actually broken out the bottom of the channel yet. It's what's called a, a fake out. It's, it's sort of tested the water below the channel, but it's not fully broken the channel yet. So even at this point, the price is not dropping like a stone, but it's putting more and more pressure on that lower trend line. really not a good idea to be buying right now because the way this is going to go is definitely going to go down. There's so many emotions though when, you, when you're trading. You think you've caught the bottom, you think you've caught the top, you think it's going to reverse and every, every time you look at the market and the new candlestick forms you think well, that's changed the way it looked before. And see, this now actually looks quite strong again from a, a buying point of view. But there's still there's no boat. There's not a lot of buying volume. Most of the larger bars from the last candlesticks, most of the larger volumes are the sells rather than the buys.
I'm not too, I'm not really one who believes in the candlestick formations, the dojis and the spinning stars, because it, the, the, you get a different candlestick depending on what the time interval is. So I don't really see how you can say, well, that's you know, three candlesticks means that the price is going to go up. Well, it depends what the candlesticks time frame is. And you can see now that has now broken through the bottom line with some increasing volume and the price did continue to drop lower and lower. So this has been a little video to show you a couple of